Uh, hi, I'm A with Yucatec. And I'm Bob with Yucatec as well. <laughs> <laughs> and today we're going to show you um, a little experiment using this light box together with three of three phones. So what do we have here? Samsung Galaxy S6, the iPhone 6, and the Z Phone 2. 6 Plus though. 6, six Plus. plus. Yeah. <laughs> Familiar with the 6 Plus. Okay. Okay. In the Z Phone 2, 551 ml ZE 551 ml so what we're going to do here is show you uh, a very fixed scenario custom scenario we're in we have a subject here with uh, the backlight just, and just no the front backlight. light just the backlight and no front light and we have Kratos here that will uh, fix all of the phones we'll take a shot the setting is all, all of these phones are already in HDR mode okay Okay, let's try with the first Z phone 2 first. Z phone 2. Okay. Take that one, then move it here. Uh -huh. Can you see the show it? There, there it is. That's uh -huh. So that would be a reference sample uh, image shot with the Zen phone 2. Okay, so next. Um, now we're going to show you the iPhone 6 Plus. Okay. Check it. Now check it. Okay. Okay. So we we'll put it up here. We're going to put it up, and we're going to show you finally the Samsung Galaxy S6. Oh. <laughs> okay. So okay. all of it is done. Mm -hmm. uh, Let's put them side by side and show you the difference between all three. So at least in this live video, we'll be able to show you the difference in the output based on the HDR mode of the Zenfone 2, the iPhone 6 Plus, and the, and the Galaxy S6. You will notice uh, the iPhone 6 Plus is a little washed out on the uh, background uh, Background lighting, back, back uh, lighting, it's overexposed. While the one on the Galaxy S6 has a normal background light, but the foreground, the, the foreground is a little dark. dark. It's dark. actually dark. You won't see uh, a lot of detail in the foreground. Sure. Then, uh, but you will see that um, if you zoom in at the image. It's still a little sharp uh, with uh, a sense. little bit of noise, mm. while the one in the it's iPhone 6 Plus has, it up, has a lot of noise <laughs> just to compensate for the perhaps the higher uh, exposure. Uh, mm. On the other hand, we compare it to the results we got from the Zenfone 2. Zen, the Zenfone 2 naman has... As a balanced lighting between the, the foreground and the background, you will see the details, especially actually especially the grass here. Between the three, you will only see uh, the iPhone 6 Plus and the uh, Zenfone 2 showing the grass. However, uh, the details muddy. are already muddy on the iPhone 6 Plus while you still retain some sort of uh, a good saturation on the Zenfone 2. Again, if you look closer, there's a good balance. There's still, you will see a little bit of hint of noise, but um, the exposure and the saturation is actually pretty uh, accurate versus the original uh, light box that we used here. And then the background, you will notice that you will still see the contrast, the balance of the light between the foreground and the background. So it's uh, not too noisy, it's not too, mm -hmm. naman, not too dark, not, uh, too, not too noisy. Na. But overall, if you look at all of the three uh, output in HDR mode, it's actually the Zenfone 2 that shows you the most, uh, uh, the most detail and the most balanced in and lighting both in the foreground and the background. So there you are. That's a really small experiment. We'll do some more of this using the light box, which gives us a, a fixed a setup which we can control the environment and give you some more uh, features, camera features between the three phones. And um, 
check out soon on our uh, YouTube channel you at Yucatec. Uh, this is Abe. And this is Bob. Yeah. See you next time. Oh, 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 oh,